Welcome to your pre-match prediction for week four of the NFL season. The Chicago Bears are coming to town and they're coming to face the Giants, looking to continue their start after last week's win, getting their first uh, second win on the board, should I say. Giants, however, looking to bounce back after their first defeat. Let's get look into the game and see how I think the game will fare out. So, like I mentioned, both teams are currently sat at two and one. We were 2-0 and and we unfortunately lost in the game against the Dallas Cowboys on Monday evening, Tuesday morning. And the Bears are coming off a win over the Texans, which ended 23-20. Texans, not a great side, so not much to read into that. But the Bears will be have to be respected on, on Sunday's game and we're going to have to be at our best to beat them. We've definitely got to look to bounce back and definitely improve. We do not want to go into the Packers game in London to all. So looking back at last week's defeat, we definitely have to take responsibility at the offensive line. We have to protect Daniel Jones at all costs this week if we're going to get anything from it. The Cowboys worked it out quite quickly how to beat our offensive line and we had no plan B. And if that happens again, the Bears will do the same. The offensive line has been a problem for the last few years and I'm hoping that this week has been a major focus on trying to get that right trying to sort out the bits that went wrong and improve them slightly just to make it a bit harder for the for the brown, uh, for the for the bears to get towards Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones had himself a game on Tuesday morning. Um I was disappointed for him that we didn't get the win as I mentioned in my post match reaction, but I'm confident he'll ball out again. Um and I'm, I'm confident that this time our offensive line will be a bit stronger. We're not going to get it right each time and each snap but I'm confident they'll bounce back after what was a disappointing game. So if you look at our schedule coming up, these were four games um, that we needed to get as much as possible from. We have the Green Bay Packers in London next week, and we all know Aaron Rodgers is a massive fan over here in the UK. So the Packers are going to be full of support, and so are the Giants. But the Packers obviously come with a very good offence and a very good defence, something we're going to struggle potentially to contain in London. I hope not but I'm being realistic and not optimistic here. So this game could be very crucial for us this weekend against, against the Bears. So we need to win this one. This, this is a must-win game in, in a sense, because if we draw, the, if we lose this, uh, there's a fly there, um, if we lose this and it goes to two all, and then we go into the Packers and it's probably likely that we're not going to get anything out of that. So we, we go two and three all of a sudden. It looks a bit bleak. So this is this is a very important game. And I'm sure Brian Dayball and his coaching staff will be re- reiterating that point across the players. And I'm sure the, the leaders of the group, the, the Saquon Barclays, Daniel Jones, etc., will be understanding how big this game is to win, especially in front of a, a, a famous home crowd, a legacy game, new helmets, new jerseys. We, we're going to be ready, I believe. Um, and let's let's crack on and let's have a look at what I think will... Uh, well, let's have a look at the opposition first and then we'll go into my pre-match prediction. So the op- opposition are the Chicago Bears. It's going to be a... Um, I think it's going to be another tough one for us. It's going to be a grit and determination win more than quality. What do we know about the Chicago Bears? Well, we know they're 2-1. and one. Um, They beat a very poor... Houston Texans last week, 23-20. Justin Fields is their quarterback. Um, how do I sound like Justin Fields? I don't think he's a mate. He's not He's not top 10, in my opinion. Um, I do think he's better than Daniel Jones. He, he's, a, he's a good quarterback. Um, they, I think the Chicago Bears are right now at the point. I don't think they're going to be a team making the playoffs. I don't think they'll be have a really bad losing record, but I think they'll have a losing record this year just on the quality that they've got. They're, they're, a, um, yeah, they're, a, they're a bit of a weird team. I don't really know too much about the, the Bears. A bit of a weird team. Obviously, we've got a bit of history with them. I, I just think that they're coming to our place. We're, we're coming off the back. I think coming off the back of a t- defeat is probably the worst time you could face us at, at this current point under this table era. I, I do believe that the Bears will come here and try and do what the Cowboys did, and it's just not going to work. Um, I don't think they have as good quality as the Cowboys. It'll be interesting to see how Justin Fields plays, to be fair. Um, whether our whether Kayvon and that can stop him early on. I, I wanna see I wanna see Kayvon have a good game. 
Um, obviously, I, my post-match reaction, I mentioned that I did think he had a good game and I felt he was a bit rusty. I think he could ball out here. I think he could be huge for us on the plays. Yeah, I, the, the Bears are a weird one. I, I don't really know too much about them, to be honest. And even the notes I've got here, they're just boring notes. So it's not it's not relevant, is it? So, yeah, they're a bit of a uh, not non-existent because they are obviously a good, big franchise, but not really um, been excited for the last few years. Um, but yeah, I, th- I think we can stop them. I think we can definitely stop them. Obviously, the Cowboys, the one we slipped up on, I think we'll, we'll bounce back under Dayball. I think Saquon Barkley will have himself a game. I, I do believe that. Obviously, the Saquon Barkley situation is a bit of a weird one at the moment. Um, there's obviously talks of a trade in the media. Do we tra- trade in and cash in now almost and get his value rather than letting his contract run out if we're not going to sign him. It's a bit similar to the Daniel Jones one. I don't know what where I started on the Saquon Barkley because I don't want to let him go and end up with nothing. But then I don't want to trade him now because I want to try and at least have a bit of ambition in this season and go for something. He seems to be our only outlet going forward. So, yeah, it'd be interesting. Then you've got Kenny Golladay. Um, <laughs> I was going to do a separate video for Kenny Golladay, but I'm going to keep it in this one now. Kenny Golladay, as far as I'm concerned, shouldn't wear the jersey. And this is why, this is where I sound it. Kenny Golladay has clearly got quality and he's playing in the NFL. He clearly doesn't fit our, our system. He's obviously made a few mistakes. He's dropped catches and, and stuff like that. That I can live with that. I can live with players not being great. But his attitude comes across so bad in the media. Like the, the comment he made the other day that he's saying he should always be out there and this, that and the other... You, you play as a team when you when you play for a, a team and I, I only play local level football but you play to as a team to win you don't play as an individual he seems to he comes across he might not he might be a lovely bloke but he comes across like he's a very individual man and it's just for him you know if the team loses but he scores two touchdowns he's happy you know he'd rather lose and do that than win and I don't know that's just how I see it I'm not I'm not calling for him but uh, yeah I I why people people obviously split on it. Some people saying, "Well, we're paying this paying him this money, play him." But in my opinion, I don't care what money you want. If you're not playing well and if you're not benefiting the team, you don't play. Simple as that. I don't care if you're on five grand a month or if you're on twenty five grand a month. The one that's playing better place, and it's as simple as that. I know it sounds stupid because people say, "Oh, well, no, because why are we paying this money for someone to just rot away?" The team's performance should be based on the players that earn. Not earn the money, sorry. So, Kenny Golladay, as far as I'm concerned, didn't have a great game against the Cowboys. Hasn't had a great game for the Giants since he joined last year. And if you listen to our podcast over a year ago now, we actually turned around and went, Kenny Golladay is going to be a huge signing for us. So, how badly we were wrong with that. But, look, Kenny Golladay is another player that um, had high expectations for and is not going to deliver. But that's what it is. And, you know, he might, he's probably going to come out now against the, the, the Bears and, and score and get two touchdowns and look like the best wide receiver in the NFL. But that's what it is. Look, I hope that, I really hope that is the situation. I really hope he goes out there and shuts everyone up, to be honest, because that, that would what he would do if he played well. But I'd pray the best for him, but at this current point in time, play with other wide receivers, although with Shep out, I don't think we've got much choice. But yeah, let me get into the score prediction and what I think. Will it be a 3 1 or we will be 2 0? Here is my score prediction for the Giants' fourth game in the NFL coming off a defeat. I do think we're going to bounce back and we are going to make it 3 1. I've got us winning by seven points, a whole touchdown. Wow. We are going to win this game 24 17. And Saquon Barkley is going to be our standout man, just like usual. But I'm also going to put this in there Daniel Jones is going to score a touchdown for a run. It's going to happen. It's going to do it. Two touchdowns from Barkley. Touchdown from Daniel Jones. What's that? That's 21 points. <laughs> and then we're going to get a field goal. And then we're going to win the game. Simple as that. But yeah, that's your week four. That's your pre-match prediction. I'll see you tomorrow for the game with my live tweets. Chatting absolute rubbish for three or so hours. Come on, you Giants.